Since thyroid hormones are so critical for many tissues within our bodies, it's important that we have tests available to determine if one's thyroid is functioning properly or not. Now, the first thing a healthcare provider may do is to first look for different symptoms of thyroid dysfunction. This could be related to increased fatigue, as well as some weight changes that are not related to changes in one's activity. They may also look for family history of thyroid dysfunction and many other factors. And in the past, one typical avenue would be to do an iodine uptake. However, now we can actually measure a lot of different thyroid functions with just a simple blood sample. And some of these different functions first include looking at thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH levels. Now this is the hormone that's released by the pituitary gland. So this first gives us a snapshot of if one's pituitary gland is functioning properly. Next, they may also look for levels of T4 and T3. Those are the hormones released by the thyroid gland. So changes to these hormones may indicate if one's thyroid gland is actually functioning properly or not. Now to determine causes of one's thyroid dysfunction, they may also look for levels of thyroid peroxidase or TPO. This can be indicative of an autoimmune condition. And one of those autoimmune conditions is known as Graves' disease. So they may also look for levels of thyroid stimulating antibody, and that can be indicative of Graves' disease as this is a stimuli to the thyroid gland to actually release more levels of T4 and T3. So if you want to know more about thyroid function testing, make sure to check out the link in this video description below.